Let's see how the question and answer method might be used in math. In this example, the teacher and students each get 10 sticks and they count them together. The teacher could ask questions related to facts, such as, if I divide my 10 sticks into two equal groups, do I still have 10 sticks? Or, what if I put them in groups of 7 and 3? Do I still have 10 total? The teacher could also ask questions that get the students to think, such as, if you divide your sticks into two groups, do you still have 10 total? Or, if I take two sticks away and put the rest into two groups, do I still have 10 sticks total? Lastly, the teacher can ask questions that relate to real life, such as, what things do you see in our room that you could put into two groups and count?